Hi guys. The Apostle Paul says in the book of uh, Philippians uh, chapter 3 verse 13, For I press toward the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. It is my encouragement to you today that you may press toward the mark. You, may, you might have faced a lot of obstacles, you might have faced a lot of challenges uh, or, or, or disappointments in this year. But my encouragement to you is that may you continue to run the race that the Father has set before you. Today I just want us to go into the, into, in, 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 into the Word and I want us to take our reading from the book of Isaiah chapter 9 uh, verse 6. It reads, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. I like what the Bible clearly says there, and the government shall be upon, let's pause there a bit, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. It simply means that, that the responsibility of rule and judgment and justice has been put upon Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ has been given that authority to rule over this earth. Hallelujah. And you know what that means? That as long as Christ has been given that authority to rule on earth, that authority has also been given to us. Amen. And the Bible continues to say, and his name shall be called Wonderful. Hallelujah. I love that word wonderful for it means um, wonder or, or marvel. Hallelujah. So Jesus, when he came here on earth, a lot of people marveled because of the miracles, signs and wonders that he did on earth. And that the same things that he did on earth, he has also bestowed over our lives. And people shall wonder because of, of, of what has been bestowed in our lives. Amen. And the next thing that the Bible says is that uh, he, and, and, and he shall be called wonderful and he shall be called counselor. Counselor there uh, simply means someone who gives counsel, guide or, 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 or devise a plan. You, you might be going through uh, difficulty or you might be going through heartbreak or you might be going through a divorce. I'm here to say to you that Jesus Christ is our counselor. He is able to give counsel to you so that you may go through whatever storm that you are facing right now. And it goes on to say that he is the mighty God, the everlasting Father. And it ends by saying the Prince of Peace. You might be going through a storm like the apostles were once found in a storm and Jesus came and he said peace be still. Jesus is the Prince of Peace and he's able to bring peace in whatever storm that you are, fa that you are, face that you are facing. And that word uh, peace also means contentment. The Bible says that contentment is great gain. You can be experiencing a great storm but at the same time be in contentment because of the peace of God in you. I pray that even as we go through this festive season that we realize Jesus as our wonderful counselor, our prince of peace. And just a quick um, announcement for the week. Uh, please take note that as of this week, uh, our worship cafes, we, we have stopped them just to allow uh, our worship team and of course you guys just to take a break and rest in this festive season. And also, um, please take note that our services will continue as, as usual uh, with our hopefully uh, campus uh, continuing their services as well, and as well as um, the, 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 the Waterfalls campus. I pray and hope that uh, you will have a wonderful festive season and I pray and hope that in this festive season you will carry a testimony. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.